fun and happy Thursday or Friday. I'm not sure when this video is going to go out to you. Um, I'm really excited about today's vlog because I am working with Sarah Styles over at Sarah Styles LLC and I am going to give you like a little bit of a tutorial or overview or share with you some of my data that I learned as a result of using Sarah's dashboard. It has been so eye-opening and I've been like kind of sprinkling little information throughout some of my videos um, over the past couple of weeks, but today is going to be like a full on review and sharing of how incredible this dashboard is. It especially is great for a person like me who is not very detail oriented and not very numbers driven. Um, I've said this before, but I because I am full time, however, I am not like the primary source of income for my home. I tend to be a little looser with my uh, profit margins and things like that, but it's always something I want to be aware of and I still want the numbers to drive my business. So for example, I want to know what my best selling product is, so I buy more of it. I want to know which category is sitting, so maybe I stay away from that rack at the thrift store. So anyway, this is a really valuable video and I hope you enjoy it and a big thank you to Sarah for sharing her dashboard with me. Um, before we get started, I'm just going to do my typical sales for the morning. I'm realizing that this isn't like really going to be the best thing because it's very hard to see these pieces as they're all wrapped up, except for this one. This is um, a Lululemon bag that I picked up at Savers in the luggage section. It's an area that I always encourage people to check out. It's often overlooked. It's usually not with the purses. It's usually in like the back corner of thrift stores. And sometimes I find some really great pieces like this. So I actually paid up for this. I believe it was $12.99. I had a coupon, so I probably paid like 11 uh, with my 20% coupon. I let this go for less than I wanted to, but I am in the spirit lately of letting things go and moving inventory. So um, I had it listed high for a while. If you go on Poshmark, the listings for this bag are, many of them are over $100 and I jumped in line with that at like 105 and then lowered it to 70 and then I got a $55 offer and I took it. As you know, I'm trying to make my $150 in sales per day to hit my sales goal for the year. So anyways, that was still a good profit for me. If I paid 11 and I sold it for 55, you know, I'm still like tripling my money after fees. So I am okay with that. This one is actually funny. So this is just like a athletic, like one of those like moisture wick shirts. And it's a Patagonia shirt. And I purchased it strictly because it was Patagonia. Um, and I want to say it was at the bins. Um, not like a hot selling style from Patagonia. But anyways, when I got it home and really looked at it, I think it was like a branded thing for like a company event. So anyway, I ended up lowering the price on this. I had it at 25 straight through. I was really gonna pull this because it just wasn't moving, but I got a $17 offer. So I was really happy with that. That's gone. Um, this is a Lag & Look brand. I believe the brand is called Poetry. This is a long, like midi to maxi length Lag & Look skirt. Picked it up at the bins. This, um, I think I had listed for 30 something and I got a $25 offer. Bins purchase, yes, all day. Um, very nice quality piece. Um, and that was a new brand to me. This, I'm gonna post a picture of. This is a beautiful jumpsuit that I bought at um, Anthropology a while ago. I bought two. I sold the other one almost right away. It's like this rust colored, super comfy. Okay, can we just take a moment? She is so fresh, now she's pausing, but she keeps scratching at the door. I'm not letting you in just yet, okay? I'm filming. So I got received a $45 offer on this. I had it listed at 75. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I had it listed for 75. It's been listed for probably five months. I got an offer for $45. And this was a direct sale to a viewer. If you watched my um, recent haul from Boston. Um, that was the last video I just posted. I had a pair of Minnetonka boots, tall ones with fringe, and I sold these to a viewer. And now Lucky is getting on board with the craziness. Yep, so I will be shipping that out today. What's all the fuss, young man? Okay, it's 
gonna be one of these days. Why are you so fresh? Huh? What is bothering you? Another little side note. Um, I have so many poly millers hanging around the house, so I do try to coordinate bags when I can. I don't overthink it, but like this right here, this is a lag and look skirt. I think like the floral sticker looks nice with the neutral um, packaging. Um, and then over here, I'm assuming this is going to a man. I love how the black and red coordinate. I don't know, sometimes little touches. I don't include thank you cards, so I try to make my packaging pretty when I can. I totally forgot to mention this incredible coat that sold. Um, this is a vintage Bogner. Um, I picked this up at Savers. I think I paid $15 for it and then had a coupon or 16 with a coupon. Definitely did not pay over like $13, I don't think. Um, anyway, I had it listed for $160. Someone offered me 65, I countered at 100, they countered at 75, I came back at 95, and we struck a deal. How gorgeous. Okay, so when you first purchase your dashboard from Sarah, you're gonna have an option of what to purchase. You can either purchase the analytical inventory dashboard or the analytical sales dashboard, or a combination of the two. So, um, I'm on her Etsy page right now, which you can go to and get like a full description if you wanna look at it before you purchase. Um, it is Sarah Styles LLC. So you can check out all the ins and outs on her Etsy thing. If you do use on her Etsy page, not her Etsy thing. Um, <laughs> if you use my code, you will receive 30% off her dashboard. And it is just so interesting, the information that you're going to receive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record my screen. I'm pointing over here to my um, computer. I'm going to record my screen and I'm going to take you through um, some of the stuff on the inventory dashboard because it's so exciting to see how many items you've sold, what items are selling, and all that fun stuff that I mentioned earlier. So when you get your initial email from Sarah after you purchase her dashboard, she is going to link you to her YouTube, to a YouTube video that's going to give you step-by-step -step what to do to install the dashboard. For me, sometimes those are the things I get really hung up on is just like the the ins and outs and starting stuff. So her tutorial is really excellent. So I'm not gonna go over the tutorial of how to load it or anything. I'm just gonna share with you some of my information and the benefits that I feel it is giving my business. So um, I just wanted to give that little bit of information. You'll get an email from Sarah. You'll link to her YouTube account to import all of your information through Poshmark. I should also note that this video is going over only my stats for Poshmark. I do sell very little on eBay and um, and I also do some direct sales that are like in a PayPal account and this doesn't include any of those sales. So keep that in mind. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at right now. I decided what would be fun to start with are my top 10 selling brands. This is something that people ask me about all the time. You know, are you picking up these brands? What brands are selling? I always go over um, in my what sold videos, you know, that my top selling brand for the month. So this is really fun to look at because this gives my top selling brand for the entire year. We are looking at my stats from January 1st to December 31st of 2019. And this was just so helpful to review in heading into the new year. So if you look here by ranking, the top 10 items that are sold in my Poshmark closet are as follows. So number one is Lululemon. I sold 53 Lululemon pieces, and this is the amount that it totaled, $1,918.58. Um, and then my average selling price here is $36.20. And then it goes down the line. And this is, um, I think this is the average days on hand average DOH here. So this lets you know like how long things are sitting. So about two months is the average. Um, I'm more of a long tail seller. Things don't always flip super fast for me. And I have things in my closet that date back to August of 2018. And I'm doing this video in January of 2020. So the second item here, okay, so this is interesting when you look at the data. So right here, see why I have, so if you're following my arrow here, see how I have free people written in here, once with a capital letter and once with a lowercase. 
This is just, I believe, how I recorded it on Poshmark. So this is how the data is inputted into the dashboard. However, the numbers are the same. So I'm not going to count this twice. I'm only going to count it once, but I wrote free people differently. So just a reminder to myself to try to be consistent. At least I think that's what happened here. Anyway, I sold 37 free people items. No surprise there. I love free people. I love picking it up. My numbers here were $1,200. In 28 cents, my average selling price, 32.44. And these pieces were 94 days on hand on average. So I wanna start paying attention to this over here. Even though I am a long-term seller, um, I do wanna find things that go quickly. So if you look here at number four and five and six are combined because these are both anthropology. 100 days on average for lucky brand item and 127 days on average. So we're talking about four months for anthropology pieces to sell. Um, and it resulted in $660. I might want to take a peek at that. This category right here is interesting. So if you look at Patagonia, it ranks seventh, which really is like a fourth ranking because free people in anthropology were listed twice here. But... Um, so Patagonia, days on hand are 35 days. So that is my fastest flip if you're looking at this information here. Um, and it's also a higher average selling price at 42.35. In fact, if you scan this whole row of average selling price, that is second to only Levi's, which I would have not thought that Levi's was my highest here with $43. I wonder why. I had some high ticket um, denim Levi's that sold for like $60 or $70, some new with tag things. Most of my, uh, now this is another thing to consider. A few of the pieces that were Levi's that sold for a lot of money, which bumped up this average selling price, um, they were pieces that I purchased on retail arbitrage. So all these things are interesting to take into account, even though these numbers are incredible. I also need to say to myself, like, why is this average selling price so high? And I know for a fact that a lot of my Levi's jeans were purchased on retail arbitrage, and that might be helping bump up the average selling price. Still incredibly helpful, um, nonetheless. So I'm trying to think. Okay, so if we scroll down, so th these were top 10 by items sold. So I think this was more brand oriented. Um, and then what are we looking at here? Top 10 by total sales amount. Okay, so these are sales because see how here it ranks um, when it goes down in the ranking, it doesn't necessarily go down in order of cost. If you look in this ranking, we're going from like basically what is generating the most money in my top 10 here. So these numbers are slightly different. Lululemon is still at the top. And then Free People, Patagonia, Levi's, Lucky Brand, Anthro, but also what made the cut here is Madewell and J. Crew. The other thing I would like to point out here is that these are all mall brands. Guess with the exception of Patagonia, they're mall brands. So these are your bread and butter brands that are paying the bills. I mean, if you if you add up all these numbers here, I'm going to continue to pick up all of these brands in 2020. I may make choosier selections. I definitely will. I'm trying to buy less basics. I'm trying to buy larger sizes. I'm, you know, when it comes to denim Lucky Brand, I haven't picked up Lucky Brand jeans in a long time, um, but I do love their boots. And I love some of their heavily embroidered sweaters and tops. And if their jeans are the right style, I'll pick them up. However, you know, these are all things that are just information that will help me when I'm outsourcing. So I had to take a bit of a break to um, drop off some packages because I didn't set up a package pickup. Um, and I, so I went to the post office and then I used my empty Ikea bag to grab groceries. I'm gonna unpack my groceries. I'm going to drive Rocco to basketball practice, and then I will be back to wrap up this video. I hope you're enjoying it. Isn't this dashboard stuff fascinating? Okay, this screen I find pretty interesting. This is best-selling shoe types, um, and it says that rain and snow boots are my best-selling shoe type. So when I look over here, 
it has like what my sell through rate is for a particular subcategory and then it has what the average selling price is. So this is pretty interesting because winter and rain boots have a 93% sell through rate and my average sale price is $47. So this is a really strong indicator that I should keep on picking up winter and rain boots um, as opposed to like sandals right here. My sell, well, no, actually my sell through heels is what I want to look at. Heels have only a 31% sell through rate. However, um, the average selling price is $45. Um, it's really, this is just fascinating to me. Um, slippers, 50% sell through rate, but only $17. So if you look over here at the average sale price, you see that ankle boots and booties are my highest average selling price at $51.66. And they also have a 76% sell through rate. So that's another category that does pretty well. Um, Heeled boots are low at 25%, yet $65 is the um, average sale price. So, oh yeah, down here. I, I didn't have the whole screen looked at here. So I just think that all of these things are so interesting. The last section I am going to review with you is going to be my top selling categories. So we looked at the analytics um, within like the shoe category and then looked at all the subcategories. But the last section we're going to look at in my inventory dashboard are actually the, the, the main categories. Like what are my best selling things? Is it tops? Is it um, shoes? Is it sweaters? Like whatever. So we're gonna look at that and then I'm probably gonna wrap up the video. I want you all to just know that there are so many things and this is honestly like the tip of the iceberg. This is also only the inventory dashboard. I haven't even touched on the sales dashboard. I know that Sarah runs a Facebook group. So once you purchase um, one of the dashboards or both of the dashboards, you'll have access to her Facebook group. Um, unless you can get it before the purchase, I'm not sure. But um, there are all sorts of discussions and Sarah really gets into the nitty gritty and people ask questions and she does a lot of live videos. And so, it doesn't end after you purchase it is what I'm trying to say. I tend to need a lot of support with this sort of stuff. I'm not a very analytical person. I struggle sometimes looking at the data, um, but this is visually great to see. And um, there, I just can't say enough about it. So $35 and then 30% uh, off, or if you look at $65 and then 30% off, that's like, roughly about $20 off of 65. So say $45 to have both of the platforms. I mean, that's like selling two tops and you sell two extra tops this week and you can purchase this and then you can just have all this information at your fingertips. You can also break it down like by the week or by the month. So I um, got this at the very end of the year. So I decided to look at my entire year. But now um, I am able to just click in and when you go into your dashboard, you can just click on a certain chunk of time. So I will start looking at my data on a monthly basis and that will help me with my what sold videos. It will, because those videos take a lot out of me because I'm like finding all the data by hand and just going through my sales line by line in counting literally with hashtags, like, you know, uh, with one tag two, like how many shoes did I sell? Okay, how many Patagonias did I sell? And now it's just all gonna be done for me. So this is going to make my job as a content creator on YouTube easier too, because I'll just be able to look at the dashboard and share my information with you. So I can't say enough about it. I wish I had, you know, I don't wanna go on and on, with details, but I will show you this last category and then we'll wrap up the video and I hope you really enjoyed it. Go ahead over to Sarah Styles LLC. You can go over to her Instagram account. She's very active um, on social media. Follow her on YouTube and go get yourself a new dashboard for the new year and level up your business. Okay, all right. One last thing we're gonna look at. So sold inventory by category. This is really interesting. This actually just gives you a number. So I've, I sold 214 tops. And that tells me, if I look down here, 
that that was like my number one thing by a lot. Um, my average selling price is only $24, but I sold a lot of tops. So that includes blouses, sweatshirts, tank tops, anything that's not like a sweater or a jacket or a blazer, but just straight up tops. That's pretty impressive by a lot. And I have to say, I'm not always sourcing tops because I feel like they don't always give me a good return, but clearly it's something that people are looking for. Shoes are at 128. I've sold in jackets and coats, 95. And sweaters, 116. So those are my top four. So tops, shoes, sweaters, and jackets are my top selling categories. A few more things I want to share in this particular um, section, the category charts, because I find it really interesting. Um, the, this is my sell-through rate down here. It says that my average sell-through rate, like overall, is 50%. I'd like to see that increase a bit. Um, and over here, it shows what the sell-through rate is based on the category. So like my bag sell-through rate is 57 this other category, 77%, I don't know what would fall in that category. Um, but anyways, this is just very interesting. This section over here, this says department charts. This is all still under that same page. Um, sold inventory by department. I find myself thinking about this quite a bit. Um, this shows that of all of my inventory, 88.6% of it is women's clothing which I could have told you. I mean, I knew my women's clothing, clothing is by far my best seller. Men is 8.78%, but kids is only 2%. Now I probably have like maybe 30 kids items in my closet, but this really makes me wonder, is it worth it to carry kids clothes at all? You know, I saw this dashboard and then I went to the bins a couple times and picked up kids things both times, but I did put back a lot more kids items. Um, just knowing that I end up sharing it over and over, it's only 2% of my business. And then if you scroll over here, it's also my lowest average selling price. So it's only 2% of my business and at that, my average selling price in kids stuff is only $20.22. So is this where I want to focus my time? Just the upside of kids things, and I say this all the time, is it's usually really like a quick flat lay to take pictures in certain things like you know we're going to sell, but generally I'm really shying away from kids stuff. Um, so men's stuff is only like just shy of 9% of my business. But that, their average selling price is $33.63, so a little bit higher than my women. So men, I am happy to invest in. I wouldn't mind growing my men's closet a little bit more. You know, perhaps getting men up to maybe 15% of my business and then maybe phasing kids out even more so. And this is interesting here, this home category, it says $50. I think I've only sold four or five home goods one of them was a Cutco, a vintage Cutco set that I sold for 50 or 55. Um, and I can't remember what else I even sold in that category that made that so high. Um, so this, this cost, this average selling price is really based off of maybe four or five items. So overall, I would say that this is where my average selling price is around 3174. And this is a really important thing for me to look at because I want to make sure that I stay above $30. Um, I think I had said it in an earlier video that I feel like maybe in 2020, my average selling price may dip a little bit because I'm kind of in this purge mode right now where I'm just looking to get rid of stuff. So I'm taking lower offers. I'm sending more aggressive offers to move some stuff because now that I've had a Poshmark closet actively working, um, for over a year and a half, I need to make some of those decisions. Um, and my closet is just shy of 1,200 items and I wanna scale back to 1,000 items. I, I don't wanna be functioning at 1,200 items on Poshmark. I'd rather clear out a couple hundred and then just, just have my best items selling. So that's it for my analytics. Like I said, I could go on and on. There's the sales dashboard, there's a lot, but let's just end it here and I will wrap up my vlog. I ran and put on some blush and lipstick because I have not taken my thumbnail picture for this video, which will be released tonight. Um, 
so I have to do that. And I was really looking a little haggard in the last segment. And also, um, what else? Oh, I'm recording an episode with Daniela for my podcast. If you are not familiar with it, I recently started a podcast with um, fellow Poshmark friend Daniela, um, who is Ivy and Blush over on Instagram. And we record our podcast. We're starting to fall into a rhythm where we're doing our recordings like on Wednesday night. And um, we have a few episodes that are out. So please check that out. We are across all of the places where you find your podcast. So Spotify and Apple Music or yeah, Apple Podcast. Um, and we do our recordings on Anchor. But thank you to everyone who has supported that podcast. It's it's a whole new world for me. And I've been thinking lately that while I am full time, today I haven't listed one thing on Poshmark. To this morning, I spent most of my morning going back and forth with someone I'm working on for another sponsored um, product that I'm going to do in February. And then um, I've been working on Sarah's video today, and then I'm going to do my podcast tonight. So it's been a very heavy social media day, and I didn't thrift at all, which makes me sad, but it's good that I stayed home. I did do a lot of shipping, so that's good. And um, I had a few sales, and I like it when I have sales early enough in the day that I can ship them out that day. So tomorrow, as of right now, I don't have any shipping, um, except for one direct sale that I'm hoping to ship out tomorrow morning. But anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm winding down now. I have 12 minutes between now to upload my video and hop on my call with Daniela. Um, my husband's flying home tonight from Houston, so I'm happy to see him. So if you decide to purchase this dashboard from Sarah, if you use the code Sarah Styles 2 you will get 30% off the original price for the dashboards. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know how you could use a dashboard for your business and what aspect of the dashboard you would like to explore. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful day. Take care.